So the Akasha system. We are using human wisdom to create a god. Not that Akasha system. This Akasha system is a system that can look at your character profile and look at the artifacts you have equipped to your characters and tell you based off your artifacts alone how much damage that you could potentially do across a variety of different teams in Genshin Impact. When I sort of Genshin Impact about two years ago, there was one character that caught my eye immediately. That's going to be Noel. Whether it was because I heard people dog on her about how she's useless or underpowered or with dedication and hard work, we eventually found some artifacts to really push her over the edge. Nope, no, nope, nope. Oh, send it. Come on, send it. Send it. <gasps> just, just one more. Just one more. <sighs> Listen, feed this plus 20. We're going to get a great one. <laughs> And we finally landed in the top 3% of all Noels in Genshin Impact. And guys, as Akasha is based off of not your weapons, but just your artifacts, it's not the Redhorn Stone Thresh R5 that I placed with. No, it was actually the Serpent Spine that we placed with here. So I want to see if we can take our Akasha system artifact set, explain it a little bit, and also run it into the first thing that gave my Noel build troubles back in the day because they're back. The Mangu Kenki brothers return in this abyss oh my god so is it possible to take this build and beat the kinky brothers in 2023 back with millions of health or are we gonna fail in time out and there's only only one qualification for this challenge we need to beat it with three stars when maximize your damage as noel if you want to break the damage formula down you can see the parts that she's good at and bad at that you need to focus on the damage formula looks something like this you're going to have your attacking stat which for noel is actually going to be attack just bonus attack because she does gain attack based off of her defense the second part is going to be her skill multiplier which is going to be her normal attack multiplier then you get to factor in your crit chance your crit damage as well as your damage bonus up. Now, Noel specializes in getting very high attack based off of her defense, especially at Constellation 6 with Must Be Spotless and a full talent level build with a max sweeping time. This is going to give you 135% of your defense as bonus attack, enabling you to hit 4,500, 5,000 attack in certain circumstances. But what we really need to focus on when we're going into artifacts is our crit chance and our crit damage, as well as our damage percent bonuses if available. So we're always gonna be wearing a geo damage bonus goblet, because that's something from the damage formula that we can really affect here. And it's something that's very difficult to gain access to. The other damage percent bonus that's gonna be available in this build is none other than the serpent spine. As long as we don't take damage, we can maintain five stacks of this and that R5 to be 50% bonus damage husk of opulent dreams it does give us defense percent which is nice that's going to turn into even more attack but the four set here is also going to give us 24 percent geo damage if we also achieve four stacks here on top of that it also does give 24 percent additional defense for a grand total of 54 percent defense and 24 percent geo damage just from the set bonuses now we already talked about how we have a geo damage goblet main but what about the other stuff now we need to focus on crit chance in crit damage across both main stat and sub stats for our artifacts. You want as much crit chance as possible and as much crit damage as possible. Defense is very good, but not as good as the other two. So if you can find some defense laying around on sub stats for our gear, we'll go after it, but not over crit chance or crit damage. In between the serpent spine and our artifact loadout, we're gonna be able to achieve a very nice 99.8% crit rate with 142% crit damage. And while we've achieved basically everything humanly possible to boost our damage stat wise on Noel, there is another character she's very good at because while we are focusing on crit chance and crit damage and damage percent bonus on her with her gear and weapon selection, defense percent bonus increase and flat defense increase can come from our boy Goro, who has Inazaka all around defense, which is going to give us a flat defense bonus amount. Talent level 11 gives you 392. And then you also have Healing of the wind and the weather which gives a 25 percent defense increase for all party members for 12 seconds when you use his elemental burst you go forward onto victory his elemental skill also is going to give us 15 percent more geo damage bonus so if we go in return back to the damage formula well goro is going to give us bonus defense which increases our attack he also has bonus geo damage and then if you have access to constellation six we are going to get 40 percent more crit damage 
as well. But this enough is not alone to boost up our damage where we need it to be in order to beat the Magu Kenki brothers. No, 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 no. Looking at the damage formula, I kind of cheated. There is one more way to boost Noel's damage in a huge way. She already has giant attack, crit chance, and crit damage, as well as massive damage bonus up. That's the entire damage formula, so what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna cheat. We're gonna use a Yunjin. Yunjin's ability here, the Elemental Burst Cliff Breaker's Banner, adds damage equivalent to her defense, to your active character's normal attacks. And here's the sneaky thing. This flat damage in the way that it's placed in the damage formula means that it's going to be affected by the crit chance, crit damage, and damage percent bonuses of your active character. Which means that all of that crit chance, all that crit damage, and all that damage percent bonus we have on our well is actually going to affect this flat damage Yunjin's giving us. On top of that, Yunjin also can give 12% bonus damage up to normal attacks from her constellation too. And while not a part of the formula, her constellation six also is going to give us increased attack speed for our normal attacks as well so as far as boosting our damage we're done correct offensive wise yes but we also are fighting against monsters and enemies have defenses and resistances enter the geo resonance enduring rock giving us 15 percent increased damage again which goes into our damage bonus but also reducing enemies resistances to geo damage by 20%. In one more small trick, we also are going to be including Zhongli in this team to decrease enemy resistances to all elements, including Geo, by another 20%. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, chat. This is it. This is the build. I haven't really, I can't believe we got here. Almost 100% crit chance, 142 crit damage on Noel. We don't really care about the energy recharge. We have enough batteries on our characters, right? We're using Yunjin. C6, we got some talent levels here. She's on the Favonius Lance. We also have access to Goro, who is also gonna be on a Favonius Warbo. We're gonna be making sure that we use these skills pretty much off cooldown to generate as many particles and feed them to Noel as possible, which is why we can get away with our very low energy recharge. Zongli's nothing special. He's just kind of hanging out. He's just on that big HP battery build. Talk about his Mantis wine, as always. I do not have an updated Goro build, no, but he's also gonna be on Opulent Dreams. He's got a pretty much main set defense. He's got healing bonus because he doesn't really need a ton of defense. But Yunjin though, we do have a new updated build guide for Yunjin. Quick overview here also on the Hus set. And then we are main defense everywhere. Defense, defense, defense. We have a little bit of energy recharge, giant defense substats in our flower and our feather as well. And I think before we factor in any of the stacks, anything cool going on, uh, she is sitting at 2,890 defense. So her defense can skyrocket up over 3K well into the stratosphere so we can get a lot of flat damage for our Noel. Now with the build complete and showcase, we're ready to go take on the Kenki boys. Before that, we wanted to check out some last minute doubts and try her out against Raiden Shogun. All right, so she's ready. This is the best we're ever going to be. This is the best we're ever going to be with a Serpent Spine build. I haven't done the Raiden daily yet. Let's try out this team. This isn't the Mono Geo team, but uh, I forget the mechanics of Raiden. I don't know if Mono Geo can do it. I feel like we need elemental reactions for Raiden. I'm not sure. This one, the Ooh, Fleet the Shadow, bro. All right, Wait. Noel. No, dude. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, these numbers are lower but we don't have goro we don't have zongli what, what are we doing what we have to defeat them all go yunjin oh wait you can't go oh get countered bro all right carry me riding i have a shield you don't have one all right i do i'm not doing the damages i feel like we're not going to be doing damage anymore i don't know what's happening Field. No, nothing for you, fam. No. Nope. What are the mechanics of this boss? She's taking negative damage. Oh, yes. Brilliant. We got there. Oh, I have no energy, bro. I have none. Generate some particles. Help. Someone help. We'll heal up. No time. It's fine. The wall will carry us, like always. Here we go, dude. Raiden's going back to full life. No problem. Look at her HP. Hmm. Hmm. 53k, yo. Ooh. Is this the serpent spine? Is that the serpent spine? What a build. And with that questionable performance, it was time to see if we could actually beat the Kenki brothers. I don't know. Guys, that ride and fight lasted forever. Maybe Mono Geo will bring it up. We weren't really ugh, doing a whole lot. I don't know. I don't know. I'm nervous. The Kenkis?
the Kenki's now with millions of health. I don't think we can do it. We barely beat Raiden. That was kind of a mess. Oh no, a bunch of Whopper flowers in Abyss Mages in a mono Geo team. That sounds terrible, dude. All right, I'm a believer, dude. I'm a Raiden believer. Bennett, come on, dude. All right, coming in my Bennett ult. Dude, I feel like Bennett ult lasts two seconds sometimes. We're good gamers, but we don't need to crit here. Go, hit him with the damages. Invincibility frame, easy, easy, big boy. Infinite pyro aura, man, it's messing me up. What was the number? All right, we got to cheat the system. You could argue that having her in the back to gain access to the opulent dream stack first is the correct thing to do. It might be, but this way we can get max stacks of Serpent Spine waiting. Swap route to Zong Lee, get all the enemies to come around. I feel like this might be the play, all right? Come over to my domain. Yes, by the wall. Cool. All right, we just need to drop everything. It should be four. It should be max, right? These... Oh, okay. 51. Not bad. Okay, now here's the, the arc. Do we spin? on these is it easier to break if we spin i feel like no we also don't generate from favonius weapons on these which is awful maybe they'll drop in drop the meteor on them possibly deleted feed me all right okay 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 particle yes easy easy he's one over there hanging out bye all right time to go to work no 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 freeze dude stop freezing bro we don't freeze here bro oh uh, yeah yeah wasting my alt time with your stupid freezing bruh oh yeah dude the freeze does so hard gimme 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 dude there's no way no bro i just need to make sure that i'm constantly generating particles yeah dude you're super cool eh? chug it away chug away mr guy mr guy mr guy we're gonna pop everything because we should be able to funnel in our, yep. Everything in this game loves to just run away. Waste time. Oh my God, look at that. Speaking of, oh my God, he went away from me again. Just die, bro. This is 48 seconds, huh? I'm not sure, but we'll find out. How about that? All right, let's go. Carve them up, 30 seconds. You know what? I think, yeah, listen, are these the freezers? No freeze for you, bro. No freeze for you. No freeze for you. No, oh, easy, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, I don't understand, bro. They were like hitting me with the world, basically. Why are they all spread out? What are you guys doing, man? What is happening here? Why are you Why are you taking a scenic route over to the corner, bro? Dude, if Bennett dies, I, I don't care. All right, just get him, dude. Just crit. My scorpion guy over here is just crazy, bro. He is, he is with it and we are not doing good. Is he down? I don't know what that enemy was, but now it's just the Kenkies. All right, okay. Okay, we got everyone but Noel, huh? Let's try to get them all here. This should be enough, I would hope. All right, we're cleaving them all. Hit every Kenki at the same time. I'm feeling like, I feel like my attack's really slow. All right, we'll put up Zongli's shield and we should be able to pop everyone's stuff again. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, D dude, 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 where are you going? Tanky boys. D -d 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 nah, shield, reshield. We don't care. We don't care. Our attack speed is super slow. And then the final ult to seal it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, man, that bird was harder than the Kenkies, I swear. 